Hi, I'm Liam and I'm Daniel from Ravenswood Bromley. For today's interview on BBC Young Reporter, we are interviewing Benga Adelikan from the band Metronomy. In our interview about Benga, we'll be focusing on his career, his life and music and education. And everyone knows your trouble. Do I agree that young musicians get enough support to go into the music industry? It's kind of a yes and no answer. Like if you do have the opportunity to play music, then there's way more information out there and a lot more opportunities to get heard. But um, I think it's more difficult to get into music in the first place at school. Uh, what do I think about the fact students get less time for music at schools? Um, it makes me sad because so much of what I enjoyed about school particularly when I was at primary school and the kind of younger end of senior school was my music classes and being in shows and not just music, like being in plays and stuff like that as well. One of my fondest memories of Ravenswood, well, one is performing in a play called Three Boys in a Mountain, and was about three boys in a small village on a mountain in Sweden. And we performed it here, and then we actually got to go to the village in Sweden where the play was set. I still think about it often. What would I say to someone who wants to be successful in music? I would say persevere. Just whatever amount of work you put into it, put it in consistently and be happy with like incremental increases in your ability. Um, and like the same in music, more people are going to say no to you than say yes to you. There are definitely going to be people who don't like the music that you make. So don't worry about it. Just persevere. I believe makes a good musician. Uh, having the courage to show a bit of imagination. So this morning I was listening to Michael Bublé, not my choosing, but my wife has put on Christmas music in the house. And I don't like Michael Bublé, but he is A, very consistent. Um, and has obviously put in like a lot of work into getting his singing and his uh, arranging of his band and stuff to a very high level. He kind of persevered and put the work in, but also was not afraid to put his personality into his music, I guess. How did I start my music career? I was 24, I guess, maybe 25. But prior to that, I'd been doing music in one form or another, like basically my whole life. Like I sang in choirs when I was at school and I played in bands and took music GCSE, took music A-level. I did it a lot because I loved doing it. And eventually I kind of worked out a way to start getting paid for it. That, that was the kind of thought process. Which famous musicians inspire me? I love Radiohead and I find Tom York both his kind of work in Radiohead and um, his solo stuff, very inspiring. And also Johnny Greenwood, who plays guitar in the band, but is also a really accomplished classical composer now. What are my aims for the future? I would like to be able to continue making a living doing something that I like, because it's quite difficult to make money from recorded music, or certainly as much money as you used to be able to make. So you have to diversify what you do. But, it, you know, the aim is always to be able to do stuff that I find interesting and actually, like, make a living from. Um, and then, like, my kids are really starting to get into music, so you kind of want to want to set them on the right path towards music appreciation. But even if you do a job that is completely unrelated to the creative arts, it's so enriching to your life to have a creative outlet it really opens up a different part of you. Thanks, Benga. I hope you've enjoyed our BBC Young Reporters interview.